Sco Radio, that modern hip hop channel in 95.3. Yesterday, I had a cool experience hanging out with my buddy. Mod Sun, Ooh. Mall of America, Hard Rock Cafe. You had an amazing event, meet and greet, kind of listening, performance session. A lot of kids out there, all ages. You were in rare form. <laughs> yes. Talk, what's up? Round of applause to Studio Mod Sun, ladies and gentlemen. I'll get a little loud now. I wanted you to be able to just slow, to, to, to bring us in all nice there. But now, yeah, we're going to get loud. Mod Sun's do here. It. We can do it. I just Blooming released my album. Yeah, it's Friday. called Movie. I just released a movie called Album. Yeah. Okay. It was my birthday. Yeah. Everything is amazing. I'm back in my hometown. I'm yeah. from Bloomington, Minnesota. I went yeah. to Jefferson High School. I've known Peter Parker for the last, I think, eight to nine years of my yeah, life. Dog. And it's an honor to be back up here. Yeah, it's always great when I have you in the building. It's so cool the way you've <laughs> evolved, but you stay the same. But yeah. you, you're the same guy, but there's another level up. When you came out yesterday, your spear and your energy was so big. You jumped right up on the table. <laughs> I had a mic for you. I was like, no, I have a mic. He just wanted to talk to the kids and talk to the people. And I got to. Thank Yesterday you for everyone. Was special. Very everyone that cool. came out, thank you. And I know, I know I got many messages the last day from everyone saying, because I came out and, and I really wanted to make it clear. Like I want everyone to leave here not feeling like they just came to some like listening party to listen to an artist talk about himself. No, like it's a moment. This is a real this is a moment. And everyone really actually felt that. And I'm so glad that it came out that way. And thank you for coming oh, out. It was and much love to Sound Set for coming out. And yeah. my sister actually was the one that set, set up. up this whole the thing. The facilitator. Yeah, so much corner, love to my know? sister, Danielle Smith. I love you so much. Shelter. And Hard Rock, thank you so much. Mob America, thank you so much. You let Very the hippie cool. in. I wasn't wearing a shirt. I basically walked out like almost naked into the streets. So. Yeah, bare chested. Yeah. And yep. basically famous. He was here. You know what I mean? Like, now, I made listen, an imprint b- b- Pretty much so. Yeah. Uh, a year ago, we had a really cool cool conversation and you came in the studio and was like you had like an epiphany your yeah. eyes are really big and you're like no no I got I know what I got to do now <laughs> yeah I know where I want to go and then over the last year you've obviously made a lot of music um we see this album has about 11 joints on yes, it yes how many did you record to get to that 11 300 yeah right honestly 300 that's what it takes though 300 to 300 get like songs. 11 bangers you gotta yeah. go crazy I'm, I'm not kidding when when I say this too, like I think one of the most important things for an artist to do is to always have multiple songs being worked on at once. Yeah, man. Because once you once you lose the moment on one, you got to be able to jump to another. So I'd be doing like twenty songs a day, just just, just pushing through stuff it. out. Yeah, just pushing through it. Yeah. Over the biggest change on this album was that I made music over other people's beats. Yeah, people that producers. Uh, other producers. I made uh, music with producers. Things. Yeah. I've never I've never pretty much done that. My last album, uh, called Look Up, was all me producing it. Yeah. Then you know. From before that, I mean, the first thing I ever dropped my whole life, I mean, 10 years ago, is my son, was all me producing it. Yeah, so man. it's just always been that. And finally, I realized that, like, I make positive music. Mm-hmm. But now if you're going to take a song, let's say let's say a beat is upbeat and it makes you feel like you're at the beach. And then you go and write a song about being at the beach. You just got a one sided project. Mm-hmm. Got a one sided thing. And I was doing that for a long time. Just taking happy and putting happy on top of it. I never understood the dichotomy of taking something that sounds nasty and then trying to put something nice on it. And wow, now you got this whole battle. Yeah, man. And it was beautiful because then it also made me say words I've never said and do melodies I've never said. And that was astonishing to me. It literally changed everything from that moment on. And now, I I, I mean, I never stopped making the music. By no means am I saying I'm going to stop that. But it just showed me. Wow, I can do this whole different thing. Yes. I can be major over a minor. Yes, you know? man. Yes, man. Yeah. Very cool features on this. You got the Mansions guys on yes. there. Black yeah. Bear, Posner. Black Bear, Posner. What, they got the green hair now. They're wilding. I love it. I I I love it, and I just I who knows what they're gonna do next. So. Crazy. No, great features on this project. <laughs> very 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 cool. Um, it's yeah. out now. We got Dej Lo, Fonet, Rich the Kid, Drum. Yeah. Maddie Noise, Nash. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Can we play yeah. Beautiful Problem? I'd, l- I'd really love to get that one out. You had like a little moment on stage when it came on. Yeah, yeah. It's I a big will. record. I always will have a moment. It's the first record I wrote about uh, like love and relationships. And I've I've never done that before. Everyone else has wrote. I always figured everyone else was writing love songs, so I'm going to write love life songs. But at this point, like I, I can't lie in my music either. Nah. I've been in a relationship, going through this battle of relationship for it's the last real, like right? two, two and a half years. You said it like on the stage, you were like, yo, I finally, I'm in the, love. The, the, realest, thing, yeah. the realest thing ever, man. Something that, that, that I'm willing to fight for and do things I don't want to do. It's not, it's, it's really challenging, bro. And yeah, that's crazy. It I've is, never heard you talk like that before. But it's a beautiful problem, bro, because I don't want to die alone either. 
Yeah, right. Man. I don't want to. I don't want to keep trying to be and that be love. Me. Let me be me. No, it's let us real. be us. That's let us real. be us. And so I feel like I found that person, and, and I was willing to to fight for that. And it's the song is called "Beautiful Problem." And uh, and I'm still fighting for it at this moment. <laughs> Yo, I feel that, man. Let's get into it more with Mod Sun coming up next. This one's off movie. Beautiful yeah. problem. Epic.